Hi everyone, it's Bot Chasers again, and we're taking a look at our G1 Transformers Headmasters. These were uh, originally released in 1987, and we've been doing a video review of all of the Headmasters, so if you haven't checked out our other reviews, please check those out after this one. Now this is one of my favorites, this is Chrome Dome. And what's so cool about Chrome Dome is he's a futuristic Cybertronian vehicle. Uh, it looks amazing. Uh, if you look at the detail here on the vehicle itself, uh, nothing was left to the imagination. All of the detail is here, beautiful uh, stickers, beautiful design. Now the colors, you know, I guess could be a love-hate thing with most people. Uh, they're a little bit 1980s or 1970s here, a little bit drab with the brown and the tan. But I like it that the red really offsets these colors very well. Uh, he's got plastic wheels. He's got a pretty blocky design here with the louvers in the back. Uh, his gun's mounted on top, which looks sweet. And uh, this little hood panel here, which will reveal his stats in robot mode. But he does uh, function very well. He rolls excellent. He's got some nice gold here on his, it's actually like a gold chrome here on his wheels. Uh, beautiful, beautiful figure, I love it. Uh, just fits in very well with the rest of the Autobot Headmasters, which I'll show you right now. So let's bring in some here to go along with Chrome Dome. We've got Hardhead here, Highbrow, and Brainstorm. So that's how he measures up to the other uh, Autobot Headmasters in row, excuse me, in uh, alt mode. So you can see he's very, he's scaled pretty well with the other figures, and they all look fantastic together, especially with all their weapons mounted on them, as you see them here. But let's go into transformation of Chrome Dome. And uh, first and foremost, what we want to do is take a look at some of his accessories. Now he is fully outfitted. Um, I did get him on one of the uh, forums, one of the Facebook forums for Transformers. I did not find him complete, but I got the body and the uh, actual headmaster, which is inside this cockpit here, for $40, just to give you an idea. Uh, that goes pretty, uh, pretty high here on eBay, but if you find some of these Facebook uh, forums or groups uh, of Transformers collectors, you can get them for a better price. Now, I did need to purchase uh, these guns separately. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, one of the guns was included in that $40 price. So that was a really excellent deal. Now this gun I got for about uh, $15 on eBay. So to complete my set, I got the gun and that puts my figure at about $55, which is pretty good considering uh, these guys are going for about could be anywhere from $65 to $100 on eBay. Let's open up our cockpit here take a look at Stylor, which is our headmaster. Here he is in robot form. He looks really, really good. I love how these uh, 1987 headmasters were so well detailed. They just look great. A nice painted face. Looks fantastic. Detail on the chest, the abdomen. Everything looks excellent. I'm just going to close up his little panel here. As you can see in robot form what he would actually look like. His articulation is great. He's got separately articulated legs here at the knees and one hip uh, swivel here. His arms do actually articulate as well, although I don't want to move them because these are known to break on these figures. But let's get him into head form just by folding his legs up. And again, we'll flip up this little panel here, his visor, to reveal his face. So there's a Stylar in Headmaster head form there. So we'll place him right there. We'll take a look at the accessories here, his guns. Another very well detailed uh, weapon for a G1 figure. Looks awesome, both sides. Pretty much identical on both sides, which is nice because then uh, when you're looking for one of these to complete a set, you don't need to worry about which one you get. They're both the same. So let's go into transformation of our uh, Chrome Dome figure here. The first thing we want to do is we're going to fold this up, oh, there we go, we fold this completely in half, so he's getting to be a very large figure already. Now we're going to fold down his arms. He does not have any uh, hand transformation, that's exactly what you're going to get right there. So his side panels on the vehicle turn into his arms, 
with hand and weapon uh, holder bolted right in. That's a little sad because as you can tell it doesn't really look like a hand. It's just a square with a, a hole in it there. We've already transformed his feet but we'll show you that once again. So you just fold those down. Now you notice that uh, these do fold down a little bit too far. So if you want to get him standing upright, I recommend you just bend those back a little bit. So you want to make sure you get some tight, uh, tight swivels here on the feet. All right, so let's fold down our cockpit here. We'll fold that entire piece back, and it folds back just like that. So he's got a little bit of back kibble, but not too bad. Doesn't look too bad in my opinion. And our most favorite part, let's fold down our stats panel here, and let's see what happens when we put on our Headmaster Head Stylor. Take a look at some of the stats. So as we put on the head, we see that our stats come up here. He's mid-level speed and strength, but very high intelligence uh, as one of the Headmasters. Fold up our panel once again. We'll place our guns on him and his hands. They fit very nicely. And uh, we'll go over some of the articulation here for Chrome Dome. I'm just gonna adjust my camera real quick. All right, there we go. So Chrome Dome, of course, no head articulation being one of the headmasters. Uh, because of that gimmick, nothing moves up there. He does have full 360 swivel with ratchet, nice ratchet, on his shoulder. No elbow articulation, uh, no waist articulation. Well, I guess you could say he does by looking up a little bit, but that's more of a transformation. Get his gun back in here. Uh, no knee articulation and only that ankle fore and aft articulation. So he's a pretty uh, blocky figure, um, although I do love him. He's got to be probably my favorite headmaster. He looks fantastic. So let's go ahead at this point and take a look at him compared to his other Autobot headmasters. All right, so here we have Chrome Dome with his other Autobot headmaster counterparts. We've got Highbrow, we've got Brainstorm, and we've got Hardhead. Uh, apart from Hardhead, you can see Chrome Dome is the tallest of the Autobot Headmasters. But how does he measure up with regard to his stats? Well, let's take a look by opening up some of our uh, stat panels here. All right, so there we are with all of our stats opened up here. You can tell that uh, actually Highbrow uh, is the lowest ranking of our headmasters. He's about mid-level on all accounts. And how about Chrome Dome? Well, he measures up pretty well. Uh, he's definitely the most intelligent of our headmasters. And these are going by the toy uh, standards, not from the cartoon standards. Or the comics and we've got brainstorm here which is a pretty good he's the fastest uh, medium strength here the same as actually highbrow and chrome dome and his intelligence is pretty good whereas our strongest headmaster is hardhead slow speed not too intelligent but the strongest of the four auto headmasters so there you go Thanks for watching our review of Chrome Dome, and please check out our other reviews here on Bot Chasers, especially our other uh, Headmaster reviews that we've been putting up recently. Thanks again, and please subscribe.